Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us beg God to forgive our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ did not send me to baptize but to preach the gospel and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise one? 
Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not come to know God through wisdom. It was the will of God through the foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. For Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their, their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they, were, they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, 
Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, why are the five virgins who did not bring extra oil labeled as foolish? And the usual answer is because precisely they brought no extra oil. They did not foresee the possibility of the delay of the coming of the groom. They were not ready. That is why they are foolish. But if we analyze more deeply the situation, there is a deeper reason why these five virgins are called foolish for not bringing extra oil. For not bringing extra oil, they presumed that the groom would arrive even before their lamps ran out. And that presumption is foolishness. Sa isip ng mga dalagang ito, darating ang lalaking ikakasal bago pa maubos ang kanilang langis. Siguro inisip nila, okay na yung dala natin Sigurado namang darating siya bago maubos itong langis. At yung pag-aakalang yon ay kahangalan. That presumption is foolishness because they think that the coming of the groom depends on them. Parang nagbigay na sila ng, sap ng panahon na ito lamang yung dapat na oras na dumating siya. Kaya ito lamang ang langis na kailangan natin. Nakadepende ang kanyang pagdating sa dami ng ating langis. My dear brothers and sisters, this is an attitude that Jesus is warning us against in our parable, in our gospel today. Many times we are like these five virgins. We think that we can control God. We think that we can let God follow our schedules and our timetable in life. We think that we could adjust the will of God according to our own plans and dreams. We think that we could dictate on God. Dapat sa panahong ito, tuparin mo na ang hinihingi ko sa iyo. Dapat sa period na ito, magkaroon na ako ng bahay, sasakyan at maayos na trabaho. Dapat sa edad kong ito, meron na akong asawa at pamilya. Dapat bukas, wala na itong nararamdaman kong masakit sa aking katawan. We think that we could let God follow our schedules in life. But St. Paul reminds us today that the wisdom of God is so different from the way we human beings think. What is wisdom for us human beings is foolishness for God. Ibang-ibang mag-isip ang Diyos sa paraan ng ating pag-iisip. At ibang-ibang iba ang pamamaraan ng Diyos sa ating mga pamamaraan. 
And so the invitation for us today is not to be like these five foolish virgins. The invitation for us today is to live in the time of God. Live in the time of God. God will come in His time. God will answer our prayers in His time. God will grant what we are asking Him in His time. God will heal us in His time. God will bring realizations to our plans and dreams in His time. And as the song says, God will make all things beautiful in His time. Not according to our time, but in His time. My dear brothers and sisters, to presume that we could dictate on God is foolishness. But to live in God's time is wisdom. Please stand. The gospel message reminds us to be wise and vigilant. As we wait for the coming of the Lord Jesus, let us pray for the world He has redeemed. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may read the signs of the times and constantly remind God's people of the eternal dimension of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people may remain hopeful and enthusiastic about life. May their idealism aid them in pursuing great things in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those discouraged and wounded by life may not grow bitter, but draw fresh strength and hope from Christ who promised us His presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may look to Christ with hope and penitent trust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may join the Lord in His kingdom forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. We also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father of time and eternity, grant the petitions we have made as we wait for the coming of Christ, your gift of eternal wisdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, 
through the one sacrifice offered once for all. Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Please stand. 
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh,